In this tutorial, I'm going to use FaceFX Studio 2015 Professional Edition to generate an animation and play it back in Unity. We're going to start by dragging our FBX file onto the FaceFX Studio Preview tab and selecting the batch export text file that specifies the pose names and frame numbers that they're on in the FBX file. These are the poses we're going to use to make the character talk. I cover these steps in greater detail in the other tutorial that uses the No Save Evaluation Installer. So if you need more time and you want to analyze these steps, uh, check out that tutorial. I'm going to move quickly through them here. I've got my morph-based character set up here. This is a morph-based character generated from the Autodesk Character Generator system. You can see he has no bones in the face, but he does have a head bone and an eye, bo and eye bones that we're going to use to rotate in Unity. My character is ready for me to drag an audio file on. So I drag the audio file onto the Preview tab to generate the animation in Face Effect Studio. I should have a talking character. I thought the matter over. You can see he's, his lips were moving with the morph targets and his head was moving with the bones. So we've got a joint morph bones based character that we're now going to drive in Unity. I've got a few options here in how I would uh, bring this character, uh, the character's animation into Unity. Uh, the easiest would probably be to export an FBX file and use Unity's FBX um, pipeline. Uh, a full skeleton uh, FBX file would handle if I had a, an idle animation or something on this character. Uh, but I'm just going to, um, and then a, uh, a face effects bones would just do, let's say, the bones in the face, um, like the head and the eye bones in this case. Uh, but in this case, I'm actually going to use this collapsed XML uh, actor, which is what we can use to uh, bring our character in using the face effects controller script in Unity. To do that, I need to save my actor first. So I'll save the face effects file, and then export the collapse XML actor. Uh, I'm going to save it out as morph XML. Now this was an Autodesk character generator file, so it's easy for me to create a morph version of him and a bones version of him uh, that are exactly the same. Only one has the facial bones uh, morph rig, or one has the facial bones rig, and the other one has the facial morph rig. Uh, and I've set both of these characters up inside of a Unity scene um, in a Unity package that you can download and check out. This collapsing process actually takes a while, so let's check out these guys uh, in Unity. Uh, here I've got my um, project set up and I've imported in the, um, the Unity package that has the Morph and Bones based characters. Um, you can see the Bones, um, the Bones based guy has a guy named Bones. And the morph base scene has a guy morph. They look exactly the same, uh, but one of them is the bones version, the other is a morph version. We're using the morph version in this tutorial. Now, if you click on him, you'll see the components that he has set up. One is the morph base face effects controller script. Um, and he's got the legacy animation component, and he's got a play in him script. Now, the legacy animation component, obviously, um, uh, you could use uh, Mechanim if you wanted. To, uh, to do body animations, this is going to control facial bones which aren't covered by Mechanim. So this is going to be, you know, the animation component would be used on top of the, uh, uh, the animator component that Mechanim uses. Um, in this case, we're just going to use, use the animation component. The only conflict is that Mechanim requires the head bone to be used by Mechanim. Uh, so if you wanted to have those head rotations uh, driven by face effects, you'd have to have another head bone, um, you know, one for Mechanim to drive and the other for face effects to drive. So for the purposes of uh, demonstrating how this works, I'm actually going to remove these components so we can start from scratch um, and uh, show, it, sh show you how to set it up. We're going to all keep the audio source in there. Um, <clears throat> all right, so uh, the first step is in the face effects folder, standard assets is where I have my face effects controller. Uh, there's a bones-based controller, a morph-based controller, and then a base controller that both of these are derived from. This is where the logic is, and then the morph and the bones-based versions have the specific target names that are used in my character. Now, if you're using a bones-based character, uh, you probably don't need to modify this file at all, especially if you're using the, batch e the default batch export text file uh, that we encourage people to use on face, you know, in, in their face effects content. Um, all, that ha all that's in here are those names uh, set up uh, you know, for the system. So as long as you're using that file uh, for your character, you don't need to touch the bones at all. Uh, 
the morph uh, based character, your morph targets are probably going to be named differently uh, for your character than they are for this character. Um, you know, morph targets, uh, you know, there's the medium version and the high res versions, even in the Autodesk character generator files, and your morph character will probably have different names. Uh, so you're going to need to set up this file um, uh, adjusting these names as appropriate for your character. Uh, there's a few places that you need to adjust them. Uh, there's the the variable names, uh, which are determined uh, from the XML file uh, that we bring in. Um, and then we, when we create the animations inside of uh, Unity, we prepend face effects in front of them so there's no conflicts with other animations. Um, and then here is where we match up the morph targets that are in uh, that are found inside of Unity uh, with the variables that are going to control, uh, you know, how much we drive those morph targets. Um, so once you, you know, adjusted all of these uh, variables for your morph character, uh, this script will work, uh, um, you know, for your character. And the logic of the script is all in this uh, FaceFX controller script base file. And these guys uh, simply uh, derive from that. Okay, so that's the, the, the layout of how the scripting works. Uh, so once you've updated the script to suit your character, uh, you would drag the appropriate script on for the morph based character. We'll drag the morph script on. Um, and now uh, we're ready to import that XML file that we created. The first thing we have to do is make sure the scale factor matches the scale factor of the FBX file that we brought in. You can see my FBX scale factor is 1 and this one is 0.01. So we need to update that to 1 before we import the XML file. And here's where I saved the XML file. It's asking me if I want to save .anim files. I'll skip that. All right, so now we should have a bunch of animations in our legacy animation component. These are the bone poses that are rotating the head and the eyes. Uh, and here's the, uh, the audio file that we generated. Uh, now, th this animation is going to drive these other animations um, as additive bone pose layers, and it's going to drive the morph targets uh, that are in this Unity character. Now, all we have to do is play the animation uh, by calling the playAnim script function, uh, or, you know, in the FaceFX controller script, which this script does. So I'll drag this script on. And uh, this script uh, asks you to set up the audio file. So I'll, I'll select the audio file. And it asks you if it's a morph character or not. Uh, we can take a look at what's in this script. Uh, it works for bones or morph based characters, depending on how that checkbox is checked. Uh, it just calls the morph or the bones based face effects controller script. Uh, it calls the play in function uh, and specifies the audio clip. Very simple script, um, uh, but gets the point across and plays the animation in Unity. So now I should be able to hit play and watch my character talk um, with the audio. I thought the matter over. An animation generated in face effects. Uh, so you can see that the character is moving his uh, head and uh, moving his lips, so bones and morph targets I all inside of Unity. I thought the matter over and concluded I could do it. Uh, so that's the process of bringing in an XML uh, file uh, generated from FaceFX into Unity and playing it from the FaceFX controller script. Hope this tutorial was helpful.